Hi, you're watching Hexus TV, and we're here at the Intel Three Decades of Technology event. Uh, with me is Dave Holway, who is the Technical Marketing Engineer for Intel. Uh, and Dave, you're going to show us about the latest development in um, vPro technology, is that right? That's right. So what we've got here is a system uh, with our Intel vPro technology. vPro is something that we've been selling for a number of years now, and in fact I've been talking about it for a number of years as well. Uh, what we've got here though is something really quite exciting. It's a technology we call Keyboard Video Mouse, or KVM for short. And for the first time, this allows the um, IT technician to fix your PC um, remotely across the internet or the network, no matter what it's doing. So for the first time, we actually capture anything at all that's on the screen of the machine. So let me give you a demo of this. Here we've got a vPro client PC, and let's suppose the, the user is working away innocently when the machine suddenly crashes. And is that actually a real crash? That's a real crash. Okay. This, yeah, this is a, an instance of a demo crashing on me and me being happy about it. Uh, so the, the machine's blue screened. So the user phones up the IT department and says, help, help, my machine's blue screened, fix it, fix it immediately. So here's the IT guy's laptop here at the other end of the network. I'm just going to type in a, a password to get onto this. And it is just running over a local network right now? Well, this is over a local network, but this actually works across the internet or it's designed for use over a corporate LAN basically. Okay. Um, so the first thing that happens is that the user sees this big friendly dialog box on the screen just saying hey your PC has Intel vPro technology with KVM somebody's trying to connect to view your screen if you want to allow it give them this randomly generated six-digit code. And so that's a bit like a um, MSN remote desktop assistant? Yeah something. exactly it's a privacy feature for security yeah. so the model is the user reads this out to the friendly IT guy uh, it's a randomly generated code each time so if I just type this in on the IT laptop and you'll notice that the IT guy doesn't see anything at all until he's got that code from the user and entered it in. As soon as the code's entered, the IT guy gets to see what the user sees. The user is reminded of the fact that they're being monitored, watched, fixed by this red board around the screen. That's yep. done in the hardware, so no matter what the machine's doing, even blue screen of death, you still have that red frame. So the IT guy can now say, oh, well, let's reboot your machine. So I'm going to use... Um, Another tool now, just to remotely reboot the, t the machine. This remote reboot is a capability we've had in vPro technology for ooh, four or five years now. So this is pretty standard stuff. I'm going to send a remote reboot command to the machine. And what you'll see is that our vPro client machine is rebooting. Anything at all that appears on the screen as it boots gets shown up still on the IT laptop. So he can then basically watch the uh, post yeah. screen and the then IT, see if there's the any IT issues there. He gets to see anything on the screen. Now, the previous generations of vPro, all he'd get to see would be the text screen, so the BIOS and the DOS prompt and so on. With KVM, anything on the screen, even the Windows desktop, gets sent across the network. So here, the IT guy is now going to let Windows boot normally. And does the, uh, end, does, does, does the client this end, do they have any control? So she... They still have control. They can be locked out by IT optionally, but at the moment they've still got control. Still got this red border, you'll see. So all the time that they're being watched, they're aware of it. And what's happening now is the machine's booted to the Windows desktop, and we've still got controls. This is the first time we've had this capability in the vPro platform. So on the IT laptop here, I can move around... I can click windows, do things with the mouse, and I've still got control. So let me show you an example of just how clever this is. Let's suppose the user has done something a little bit more subtle. They've turned off their network adapter, so isolated windows from the network. If I go to the device manager here, go to network adapters, if I disable the network adapter, Windows warns me that that's a bad thing to do. So Windows is now isolated from the network. But because vPro works via the hardware, not via the operating system, IT can still get in, can still see it, and can still fix that problem. So this would have a home application of if you go and really screw your machine up at home for whatever reason, you can then pu still punch into it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this particular version we're aiming at corporate buyers, businesses, but I mean, this, this is just perfect for home users. I want my parents to have this. How many hours have I spent on the phone saying to them, <laughs> click, exactly click, what I'm click thinking. the start button, no left mouse button, no single click, yeah. Such a time saver. Click the mouse on the screen. Anywhere on the screen. I am. It's not. No, you're hitting the mouse on the screen. Yes. Just <laughs> you got it. So that's AMT Generation 6 on the new Intel vPro platform. And when is this uh, going to be hitting the market? Well, this, is hit this is out on the market right now. Uh, to get this, you need, uh, on the desktop, the Q57 chipset. You need a motherboard that supports vPro, and those are available now, and a Core i5 processor with Intel integrated graphics, I should mention. This KVM capability only works with the Intel integrated graphics in the processor. 
That's actually very impressive, but I'm, I'm going to get him here with this one. Dave, what if I'm, I don't know, I'm an IT expert, I'm sitting on the train or I'm in the car or something like that, yeah, but I haven't got my laptop with me and a client rings up, I've had a crash, really urgent, got a report to do, how can I help them because I've got no laptop? I'm glad you asked that question. The nice thing about interactive management technology is that it's all uh, based on common standards. So for the web interface, for actually managing the machine, we use standard TCP ports. For the screen redirection, the KVM, we use the VNC protocol, virtual network computer. VNC clients are available for all manner of platforms, Mac, Linux, Windows, in, in fact, even mobile phones. Uh, what I've got here is my own phone, and I'm showing the AMT management interface to a machine that's on my network at home. So I can remotely, from the phone, reboot the machine, power it on, and view the screen. Please tell me you're not going to say there's an iPhone app for that. Uh, I think that, tr uh, that phrase is trademarked, I'm afraid. <laughs> so what you're seeing here is the what we call the web management interface for interactive management technology. This is a very simple means of interfacing with active management technology. It's actually a web server that's built into the hardware of an Intel vPro platform. This is a machine on my network at home and through the phone here I can view information about the machine, about the processor and the memory that's on the machine for example. Uh, it, right now it's switched off. Okay, well, I mean, the thing is that you, you've, you've clicked through a page there, but you could have just had that, like, stored in the cache of the phone. So my challenge is, can you turn that machine on through your phone using the vPro technology? I can do that, and if the fates are willing, I will do that for you. So, first of all, let's just show that the machine is off. If I just zoom yep, it there. The so right there. now, the power status of that machine is off. It's sitting on my network at home, switched off. Through the web interface here, I can go to the remote control page, which allows me to change the power status of the machine. We can't, through the web interface, do the full screen capture, of course. You need a different application for that. But this is coming up now. Slow mobile network. And there we go. So what you can see there is it's giving me the option to send a command to the machine to turn the power on and allow the machine to boot. So if I send command, I get asked, Am I sure I want to send the command to the computer? Yes, OK. That command's now being sent. So right now, at home, that machine on my network is powering up. And I can prove to you that it really did power up when it comes back. It tells me I need to wait a little while before accessing it. But let's, go, let's go to the system status page. And... Hey presto, as it were, power on. He's annoying, isn't he, with this stuff? And it is very, very cool as well. Um, we we're not allowed to say there's an app for that because apparently it's trademarked. So, um, Dave, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to take your phone and take control of your um, home system. Um, ha ha ha. Check back soon on Hexus TV for more rather, rather cool bits and pieces from the Intel Three Decades of Technology event. I don't like you sometimes.